اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس ہیئر آر دا سم پکچرس ان ویچ یو کین سی دیٹ ایوری بڈی از انجوائنگ دیئر فیوریٹ میل دا کوشچن ارائز ان مائی مائنڈ دیٹ وائی وی ایٹ وائی وی نیڈ فوڈ From our childhood, we have listened as the human body is like a machine and for the working of machine, we need some amount of energy, some energy. For that energy, food or you can say that food are the source of energy. But there is a twist. Our body cannot consume the food in the form in which we have taken it it have to be converted into the usable form or simpler form in which our body can utilize it for that purpose for that purpose our body has a system and the system named as digestive system How can you define the digestive system? It is a system of digestion. Now what is digestion? Digestion is the biochemical catabolic process in which the complex food material broken down into the small simple water soluble component it's called digestion. The point of memorizing is catabolic process what is catabolic process the broken down reaction first of all i want to tell you metabolic process all the chemical reactions which are going on in the living body it is called as metabolic process jitne bhi living body ke andar chemical reactions hote hain they are collectively called as metabolic process اس میں سے کچھ سنتھیٹک بھی ہوتے ہیں کہ جس میں کوئی چیز بن رہی ہوتی ہے اتنی ہی تیار ہو رہی ہوتی ہے وہ کہلاتے ہیں اینابولک پروسیس اور کچھ ریئیکشنس ایسے ہوتے ہیں جس میں بروکن ڈاؤن کا پروسیس ہے مٹیریلس بریک ڈاؤن ہو رہے ہیں دیٹ پروسیس آر کالڈ ایز کیٹابولک ناؤ ہاؤ کین یو ڈیفائن دا کیٹابولک پروسیس دا کیمیکل ریئیکشنس ان ویچ دا کمپلیکس فوڈ بروکن ڈاؤن ان ٹو دا سمپلر ون or you can say simply the large molecules broken down into the simpler one that is called as catabolic process so digestive system or digestion digestion is a catabolic process in which complex food material matlab ke jo jis form mein hum food le rahe hain wo complex hai usko hamari body directly utilize nahi kar sakti that have to be converted into the small simple water soluble component here you can see complex conversion of complex food material into the simple soluble form for example carbohydrate carbohydrate is a simple uh, source of energy and our body need it for energy and the simplest form of carbohydrate is glucose glucose is the instant source of energy is a digestive system and digestive system it's a multiple organ system in which different organs are involved for example mouth salivary gland esophagus stomach liver gallbladder pancreas large intestine small intestine the digestive system comprises into two main parts it has two main parts alimentary canal and the digestive glands now how can you define the alimentary canal it is a long tube which runs throughout the body from one end to another it is 8.3 meters long here is the measurement it's a long tube which runs throughout the body with different diameter 
it starts from mouth and ends to the posterior and anus it has different diameters and according to the different diameter it has different parts digestive glands digestive what are the digestive glands digestive glands basically they are the chemical secretions which helps in digestion it has three main glands liver pancreas and salivary glands as i told you that alimentary canal have different parts mouth esophagus stomach small intestine large intestine the from mouth you can see here in mouth mouth is also called as buccal cavity or oral cavity it's, it's also known as oral cavity cavity ka word hum jahan pe bhi use karte hain it means hollow khali jagah it has tongue teeth salivary glands digestion begins in mouth saliva secretes from from salivary glands as they digest starch it also softens the food and make it easy to swallow it means mouth has physical digestion because our teeth grind the food or break down the large food particles into the smaller one and in our mouth there is a digestive gland is also present which is called as which is all known as salivary gland and from salivary gland it secretes saliva and what is this function of saliva that saliva softens the food it moistens the food and it also digests the starch present in the food what is a starch it is a complex form of carbohydrate as i told you in the previous one that carbohydrate is a source of energy and it is the basic component of our balanced diet it has the complex form starch now starch has to be converted into the simplest form which is glucose now the next one is teeth there are two sets of teeth in our whole life the temporary teeth and the permanent teeth theek hai jisko milky teeth kehte hain temporary teeth are the milky teeth jo ke early age se jo hai wo 7 to 8 years tak hoti hain uske baad jab un gradually uski jagah new permanent teeth aa jate hain there are 32 numbers of permanent teeth beside this there are different type of teeth present in our mouth incisors canine premolars and molars they are named as on the basis of their function and structure inka shape aur inke structure ki buniyad pe teeth ke bhi different types hain unko categorize kar diya gaya the first one is incisor naam se hi kya pata chal raha hai caesar for cutting they are used for biting canines canines are pointed teeth they are used for tearing the meat of flesh premolars and molars they are broad flattened teeth which are used for grinding the food food ko grind karne ka kaam jo hai wo premolars and molars karte hain tongue in our oral cavity tongue is also present is a muscular organ which is used to taste the basic function of tongue is to taste it rolls up and push the food into the pharynx now you can see here behind the oral cavity it's a oral cavity and behind the oral cavity that narrow part is called as pharynx in mouth phys after the physical digestion food passes into the pharynx and how can you define the pharynx buccal cavity opens in a short wide and muscular chamber it is 12 to 14 cm long 
it's a short wide tube which is called as pharynx it is basically the passage simply the passage now the next one is esophagus it's a it's a connecting tube between mouth and the stomach it is 30 cm long same as the pharynx it is the passage which connects the pharynx with the stomach and its uh, measurement is 30 cm